Welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name is Michael and I want to show you all my painted miniatures and the projects I'm working on. And these were shown in my recent live stream but even if you were there I've added extra pictures and turnarounds for you. So let's, are we ready, let's have a look at some miniatures. Um, I'm warning you now, I don't actually have a lot. I know the meme is that everybody's got like a room full of plastic but I've never really been that bad. I'm going to show you the first couple of pictures. I'm going to show you all the miniatures that, well, not all of them, but the majority of miniatures that I've painted for the channel. I won't go into detail or close up of these guys because I want to encourage you guys to go and watch the videos that these are in. Um, so you can see it's been a journey. So that front lieutenant there, that's the first Marine. So that's the Marine I used for the transfers video. And then just to the right of that, you've got the famous orc skin tutorial orc. Don't ask me to pick a favourite because I love them all. So, do you know what? I will tell you some of my, but they're all my favourites to be fair. But you've got the grey knights there. I love that tutorial. The yellow orc, the yellow mega armoured orc was one of my favourites as well. I actually ended up painting two of those for the video. Because the first one didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. Because I rem I do remember making all of these. And they never go as smoothly as you think they do. Um, I love the Deathwing Terminators. Especially, I'll use my little mouse pointer. I can tell you now, trying to paint to this level for a whole army, just I just don't think it's viable. If You'd, you'd probably spend a year painting an army of them like this. But this one here, I was really proud of. Um, and even looking at it today, I would probably paint some Deathwing Terminators like this for my own army. Um, so yeah, all these Space Marines here. Uh, over here, these are the Aldar, the Aldari that I've painted for the next video. So the Iandan is contrast paints. Uh, there's a mottled effect I've done for the Elatok. So there's lots of interesting techniques and different ways you can approach painting your Aldari. So here, uh, there's not much on this one. So you've, you've got the... New Cadians, the combat patrol box that I painted, that took a month to do, which I was ready to throw the miniatures across the room. Um, but you've got the Chaos Legions here. These 501st Cadians, this is my favourite colour. This is my favourite colour scheme for the Cadians, and I thought this video was going to do better because there wasn't any content around how to paint this scheme, which I was sad about. It has picked up since, but not. It's obviously there's new newer Cadians now, but you can still use that colour scheme to paint the new Cadians. So yeah, those two pictures, those sort of majority of what I've painted for the channel as standalone projects that I probably won't add to. So here we've got the Tyranids in their current state. At the moment, this is probably my favourite miniature that I've painted. And you've got these Neuro Gaunts, I think they're called. The 20 Gaunts are actually what I'm currently working on. And I want to add the Elite Box to this army as well the way they've painted the new tyrannid color scheme that they, they outdid themselves just because there's so much variation in the color scheme i've loved painting these um it's kept my interest and with each miniature there's variations in it here's a close-up picture of those neuro gaunts i love i just love the color scheme and how they're painted and these these they weren't that they didn't take that long to paint in all honesty because they're so small you can get away with less details I painted these after those neuro gaunts on the back of my sort of enthusiasm. So I got to the point where, so the way I painted these here, I will have covered in the Warrior Prime video. So yeah, I want to finish these. It's just that I haven't decided, I haven't figured, I haven't decided how to finish the guns. With this um, edition, this is the first time I've actually kind of painted Tyranids for myself as an army. And I, I'm loving painting them and I can't wait to do more. I really hope you're enjoying seeing all of my miniatures. I love this hobby and I love creating content for you, which I couldn't do without my very generous supporters, channel members and patrons, which allow me to continue tabletop ready and make these tutorials possible. Another way to support the channel and the content I make is by giving the videos a like and leaving a comment. I really love hearing about your own hobby. Um, so here are the space marines that I have painted from the tutorials. Yeah, so these here, these are what I'm adding to those Ultramarines. So you've got the 10 Inferno Flamer Marines. And then you'll see here, I've mostly finished the Lieutenant because um, I painted him at the same time as I painted the Stern Guard. And then I want to add what I painted for the starter videos. And I just want to sort of bring those up to the standard of the others. 
Eventually I'm going to do a repulsor for the channel in a video. I'll probably do Red Boot Gulliman and they'll be added to the army. And that's going to be roughly about 2,000 points. Maybe a unit of infiltrators. All these miniatures here I've done tutorials for on the channel. They're quite recent as well last year. So you don't have to look too hard to find them. Here we've got the Night Goblins. You've seen these. This is actually the whole um, army that I've painted so far. I want to add three more trolls and a mangler squig to these. And I feel like they'll be finished. My next old world project is going to be the chaos. So I've got the... I've got the spearhead ready. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna have a day off tomorrow, and my day off is gonna be building miniatures because I like Warhammer so much. But they'll be. They'll. I will be making a video for those, but there's no schedule for that video to come out. It'll just be. It'll be like this night goblin video. There was this wasn't originally going to be a video. I decided I because I filmed as I went and and I ended up just making a video out of it, and it did really well, and people loved it. So I do want to do more videos like it. Um, but yeah, you've seen, there's a video, if you haven't seen this video, it's one of my favourite videos that I've done for the channel. Because it's something different to what I usually do. Um, and this is all paint, this army is painted using contrast paints. And it's a very quick scheme to do as well. Um, if I had to say how long it would take someone to paint this army, even as a relatively new person in the hobby, you could probably do this in a couple of months. So here's another army, and this is the Cruel Boys. I love this range, just because of the design is so different from the usual orc these are painted with contrast paints as well so this is just a good example of what you can achieve with contrast paints and i feel games workshop didn't actually advertise the contrast paints well enough when they first brought them out and i don't think people understand what you can achieve with them so this is all i do have for the cruel boys at the moment the old world came out and i kind of focused on that um but it's mainly what i want to paint for these guys now is just mainly the a lot more cruel boys but i'll do that when i get an itch to do more age of sigma so yeah it's this contrast paints and some highlights i i'm not a fan of how i've based these so i might change those when i come back to revisit them to finish the the army i really need to bring this guy out a separate guy out for this uh the swamp caller bring it one out separately if anyone from games workshops listening please bring out one separately again this is this contrast paints some of the highlights on the bird itself is this dry brush so you can get um, oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Love your paint work. Your vids really helped me. Oh, I'm glad. Thank you again. This took a, this did take some time. I paint, I started painting this and then I shelved it, but I came back to it and I'm glad I did because it's one of my favorite miniatures I've done. Um, I do play, I do game with my uh, miniatures. A lot of the stuff you see me paint in my tutorials, I don't because they are specific for the tutorials. But stuff like the Cruel Boys, those Night Goblins, um, eventually the Tyranids and Space Marines are such that I want to make armies out of, I do want to use for gaming. So here we've got one of my first Age of Sigmar armies, the Caradron. This army was a game changer. This is what made me fall in love with the Age of Sigmar game. The Steampunk Dwarfs. Um, and I do want to finish this army as well. If I wanted to do highlight in what's the easiest way, dry brushing or paint brush is normal. That's really a choice for you. Eventually, as you improve your skill in painting, you sort of prefer just using a brush just because you get a better look. Dry, dry brushing could be very messy. I do cover both methods in my tutorials, so it's just a case of trying it out, going out there and having a look because, again, it's a very personal choice. But for me, I always... I would say for people to work towards edge highlighting i do have um, a video for edge highlighting that goes through the whole process and how i approach it and some things that can help so with these guys i basically just use the spearhead boxes i think i got three of them in the end yeah i'll put all these pictures in the discord for any patrons and members these are endrin riggers i used the wrong heads on these ones i didn't realize but you don't really know this I can't remember the names of a lot of these, but these are the ones that you usually have all the different mixed weapons. But I gave them all rifles, silly enough. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably do, hopefully do a a video showing off my miniatures. Uh, so yeah, these this is what I've got left to do for the character. And I've got all the I've got all the characters to do, and then I've got um, three each of the ones with the big the pikes. So I've done a video for Abaddon, and I did show off some of the black legion i painted for that 
this is the army that sort of kickstarted me loving more retro schemes for my armies so this is this was kind of a refurbished army so i sort of fixed it up but i loved how abaddon came out and it really works with the army i'm never painting obliterators ever again because these were a pain to paint so many details yeah yellow is always a scary color to paint but it's like i've painted yellow in so many different ways now it's 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 my favorite color to paint so just watch my tutorial to see so many different ways of painting yellow that can help so for these you start off with the yellow all it is it's corax white with iandan yellow over it and then i sort of work on the rest of the details so usually when i paint yellow now it's going to be with contrast paints because it's just got better pigment they look good but there was they took a while to paint these are another one that i sort of half painted then shelved and it was the skin because i hadn't really figured out a way to do skin and this is quite early on when i wasn't really confident in my painting skills the power weapons for this army i was really pleased with and this is this is sort of me attempting to do glazing early on in the days terminator is always my favorite miniature to paint because you get a good idea of um how to paint a space marine because they're so bulky and you do some nice edge highlighting so this is the first unit i painted for the black legion um, and this is what i've got left to paint for the black legion you can see at the back here this guy's converted with um wings i think from a war cry miniature we can all be happy that we're able to have a chaos lord with the jump pack again when it comes to the vehicle my idea for the vehicles for these guys these are horus heresy vehicles to add age to the um units rather than using the more modern marks I like the idea of using like the Mark II Rhinos and Land Raider. I think that'll sort of add character to the army along with the colour scheme that I painted them. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm just waffling now. I don't often get to talk to people about my miniatures. Uh, so Necrons, I've separated these out because for me personally, I'm going to update these and just elevate them a bit and add a few extra highlights and maybe improve the glow because I'm doing a um the doomstalker next so it'll mean it'll be a combat patrol painted the the vehicle i'm going to be painting is going to be to the high level that i usually paint my miniatures now it's with the necrons mostly they're quite easy to paint but then you've got like the power weapons where you can you can have fun and sort of show off your painting skills a bit more so far you've pretty much seen everything now apart from my orc army as you can see i haven't really got a lot because i don't like to have a lot of clutter or worry about things that i need to get painted it's always good to have sort of different projects on the go because you never want to sort of deny yourself that creativity um, but you definitely don't just want to just have boxes lying around and not doing anything with them so for the orcs i'm gonna sh orcs are probably my biggest collection of miniatures because they're my favorite faction and i'll always do orcs and i'll always be adding to this army so these are the some of the orcs I've painted for tutorials. So if you want to see them in detail, you can go watch those videos. Um, so this is my Gazgul. When I got this, it was the intention to do a tutorial with him and do it like the box art. He's such a massive project. It's probably why you don't see many Gazgul tutorials. And it was very early on in my YouTube career. And I just didn't have the, the talent, I guess, and the skill. Um, I wished I'd done a turnaround because I, I did a nice gradient on the power claw. So my orcs personally, they are goths and again, they're a very retro um, inspired scheme with a lot more red in them. Some of my characters. So Gazgul, the pain boy was the first miniature I painted for this orc army. So you've got the weird boy, which we still need a new plastic miniature off. And I've always painted my weird boys with um, pale skin. And I cannot remember how I painted this one. So when I come to painting another one, I'm going to have to sort of come up with a whole new way of doing it. This was a lot of fun to paint. I've got a lot of Orc tutorials on the channel. And I cover everything you need to paint this kind of thing in those channels. So that Orc weird knob or Orc boy is the Iron Jaws converted. So he just hasn't got the, the cloak over him, the poncho. It's got a different plastic head. Originally, this I would painted this middle uh, miniature originally and it had the resin weird boy head from the current one from the fine cast um but i didn't like it so i changed it to just a plastic head and then this here is just bits from the orc bikes and it covers up the staff this here 
is from the Mega Knobs. You get a lot of bits from there. So this is a this is my own kit bash, but it's easy to do. When you leave the poncho off, there are gaps in the arms, and that's why he's got these shoulder pads or guards to cover up those gaps. When you're converting for orcs, it's as long as it looks right, no one questions it. It's just like it's orky. Uh, some of my vehicles, my battle wagon. This one here, I get a lot of people asking about the conversion for this. It's like a buggy type. The chassis was straightened up and that's what gives it its front lean. You get the two roll bars. Obviously, there's one there, one there. I've just moved those apart. The only thing that isn't in the box you get this is this cover here. And that's from uh, the Wazdak, the, well, the Orc Jets. Because you get a lot of these covers which you can use to cover the engines. And again, it doesn't even have to fit on perfectly because it's an Orc. It, may, it doesn't have to make sense. It just looks right. This here, this Rhino, is Plasticard. The only thing that is originally the Rhino is, I think it's the hatch here and the sides. Everything in the middle is made out of Plasticard. Again, it, gives, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you can see the patterning on the back here is just stuff tried to match the inside of the, the trucks at the back here. This is the this is the last thing I've painted for my orcs. As you can see, I still need to base it. And I had the idea of leaving it silver like with the American bombers. So these are the knobs. I think there's 13. So three will be used in the units. And then there's 10. And they've all got the giant um, choppers. Charlie Fulton, thank you so much. Cheers for all the amazing content. It's really appreciated. Thank you. And you've been asking a lot of good questions tonight and I, I really do prefer people to talk and chat if you want to don't be shy because i love talking to you guys these took a while to paint just because there's so many of them and there's i think i painted 33. these two here they're converted from the new orc boy box set and they're just using the bits from the the orcs you get with these grots it's just that they obviously look old and outdated but the grots look absolutely fine. It's just the orcs that come with them. The the, the skin here, that's the Skarsnik green. Um, here I've got 30 chopper boys and 20 shooter boys. Um, yeah, so this this is an army that I'll always be working on. I'll always be adding to just as a labor of love. The standard of paint for these guys isn't... If you want to paint something like this, it's all in all of my tutorials. It may not be dedicated to exactly this, but across those videos you can achieve something like this relatively easy it's just choosing a color scheme and planning so as i say these are based on like the retro um goths that you see in the second edition books there's a, obviously the newer goths there's not much red but it's a nice impact color so this is some of the stuff that i've got left to paint for the orcs i'm e i'm so eager to get these painted but it's kind of like these are my desserts and I'm trying to eat my vegetables first. That's why I've been trying to get all the infantry painted. And some of the vehicles that I've got next. When I got some of this army, it came with this converted Lehman Russ. I didn't convert this myself. I'm not going to take credit for it, but it's really good. And I'm just waiting and praying for the day that Orcs can have looted vehicles in the game again. And this is the only thing, believe it or not, is what I've got on Sprue in this box. All this is, is the Space Marine Flyer. I've got a chaplain and I've got the Primaris Librarian. I've not built those because there's intentions, not the, the flyer, but for the two characters, I've had intentions to do those for a video. And the, that vehicle is just, I love that kit. So I'm just waiting for a nice rainy day to enjoy building it and painting it. So they're the only, th I've, got banner, I've got a few extra bits there and there's a lot of banners that I might use for an Imperial Fist Army idea in the future for myself. But that is all my miniatures and what I'm working on. So yeah, they're all my projects. Um, so hopefully you found that interesting. I really love sharing my miniatures and collection with you. And if you want to share yours with me in the Tabletop Ready community, I would love for you to send me pictures so that I can share them on future live streams. The details are in the description and I'll see you in the next video.